Before I forget about it, I wonder, uh, O'Day's going to go to the half mound tomorrow. Uh, Worley will have a side tomorrow, and if that goes well, he'll pitch for Bowie on Saturday. 6.35 game, and Joseph, if uh, continues to go down the road, he'll catch for Frederick on the 27th. That's the four-week mark. So hopefully we got some guys moving in a good direction. What's up? What did you see from Obaldo? Uh, bent, didn't break. What do you have, four walks? Stolen bases were a challenge, but uh, made some good pitches. Got through six innings. Gave us our bullpen a rest. We didn't have many options down there tonight. So, you know, he delivered what we needed. It's good to see him, you know, go home and feel good about himself. Started taking him out with two outs in that last inning. Let him uh, feel some good, uh, what's the good word? Fan love. Hmm? Fan love. I don't know. Just... I don't know, but I kind of like the thought of him getting the next guy out and not having to, you know, use somebody. I wanted to have Tolliver as a backup if there was an issue physically with somebody. Brad was good, obviously. I want to get Zach back out there. What about the way he finished that? I mean, he, you know, it was ups and downs, as you said, but, I mean, he did strike out the, you know, all three batters in the sixth. I mean, yeah. Plus he, uh, yeah, it's... If he, if he can minimize, like a lot of starting pitchers, if you can minimize the damage early when you're trying to find it, you know, they, they seem to come on later they get into it. I know we've had a lot of time with, I know with Chris, and I know Chris is another one that sometimes their best inning is the last one. And uh, uh, he was getting, I thought he had a crisper fastball. There was a lot, a lot of, you know, cr crispness and intensity to his fastball tonight. Back to the bullpen. Wow. Yeah. You know, hey, we got uh, two more of that spot before the All Star break. We're going to take it each day and put our best foot forward. You know, tonight he was he was it. So we'll see. We get to add a pitcher for both games, the doubleheader on Saturday. So we got through this four game stretch without Manny, and uh, so. You give me a look. Did I miss something? No. Did I miss a day? Is he not eligible Friday? No, he can come back. Huh? He can come back. I can come back? No, he, Manny can. Manny can I know. So you went, I got that one. Oh, God. Did I miss the days or something? Hmm? I saw a reaction over here. I'm getting ticks. <laughs> the peripheral, peripheral messed me up. What did he do? What did he do that he didn't do? Pardon? What did Jimenez do tonight that he didn't do before? He had better command in his fastball. You know, got some counts in his favor. He went 0-2 to 3-2 on some guys, which you don't like to see. You know, when you, you throw some pitches, we are, you know, he's not the only one. We throw some uncompetitive pitches, 0-2, 1-2, their ball's right out of your hand, and get back into a count where you got to throw a fastball. I, th I think... Uh, that's something that uh, has been a challenge. And we didn't execute the pitch out. Had a shot there. That's, so, you know, between the four walks and the hits, and the, that's almost like that's 90 feet we could have kept from happening. But, you know, I'll take the end product. I would have signed up for that, and hopefully, you know, he can take it and build on it. It looked like Scope is going to have a single in the left center, and Adam will stop at no. third. He ends up with a double, and Adam scores. Well, I don't know how many people. Like I said, I think I was talking to y'all earlier today that you know Adam's always on. He didn't have a he didn't have an off or down day. And you know, one thing I'd, I'd ask a lot of people is how many of you would scored on that ball, and how many of them would you would have given yourself a chance to score on that ball. You know, that's a third base coach's dream. And uh, how many of you would have been on second base on a pop up that the third baseman didn't catch? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about just people in general. So Adam does a lot of things that, that create a lot of cachet with me because of his effort, and he's engaged. Was he thinking out of the, right out of the gate on that hit, front first base, as soon as he goes? Well, he they, they have to do something to keep you from continuing to go. You know, you don't ever assume anything. You know, if Ryan assumes that, like I'd say maybe half the people are still at first base. You know, that's... You hate to say that, but that's probably the truth. I mean, you can't assume anything, because that one time you don't, you do. 
So a lot of people just thought, this is first and third, let me go there. And, you know, Bobby made a good read, but he, made, he was looking for that read because of the, of the base runner he had coming to him. It's a big play. It's a big, uh, I don't know, morale, karma, whatever. It's a, uh, you know, if you're on the other team, you that, you don't feel good about that. And, you know, driving in Ryan after ending up on second base on that ball, those are two things you can do to separate yourself from a lot of people that aren't willing to do that. I talk, We talk all the time, what are you really willing to do to separate us? Those are things we have to do. Is that, is that part of Adam's game, the speed game? Was that consciously part of you moving him to the one hole? No, I know. not that, no. I wish I could claim all that. Just trying to give him a little different look and a little different toy. Just something different when he comes to the park. Like I said, I had three options, leave him where he was, drop him down, give him a couple of days off, or throw him a whole new soup bun. And he's, he's, he took that one. I'd already made it out when I asked him about it, which one he liked better. But it's worked out pretty well so far. Same way with, with Nick Marcakis. Trouble went three for four. For, ended up, I think, 14 game home on a stroke. It's so nice to see him kind of break out of that little slump he was in. Um, it, it's fun to watch him hit a line drive. I mean, there's a lot of, you're talking about, you know, they talk about hanging out laundry on that line. You could do about, you could do a whole month's worth of laundry. He, it's fun to watch him hit he's, when he squares the ball up. You know, he, and, you know, some of the same pitches that he was missing, uh, you know, he squared up today. So he, he's a guy always he challenges himself to figure it out every night. He wants to hit a ball hard every at bat and, you know, every time up. So, yeah, that was good. I had a tough one tonight with Chris. What would you guys have done? Just gonna ask you, just gonna ask what would you have done? I probably would have kept him hitting. But that's not Why? Because, because you already scored the run. Had you not scored the run, then, you know, but I mean, you scored, you scored the run, the run anyway. So. What's that? Scored the run anyway. Right. Right. So the run scores anyway. So you, know, you know his numbers off that pitcher? Do you? I mean, I know that. That, that gives more credence to you and less to me. Okay. He was 5 for 10 with three oh. home runs off of him. But Trumbo was successful too. And I like the idea of having the infield in with Trumbo hitting and another base run. There's no wrong decision. He seemed like he wanted to hit. Probably. You know. But, you know, I was talking to him up the runway. I said, that's a tough one. He goes, yeah. He, says, he knew, and I knew. It had hit him right off the chute. I was surprised they didn't. But uh, maybe they – that was a tough one. That was one of the tougher calls of the year. And he had about eight seconds to do it. What would you do, done, Brittany? I would have done what you did, though. Really? I know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> who, some, who, who, would have, who would have left him in to hit? And tell me why. No, you. You? you got the Shocker. What you got? <laughs> well, I just think, I mean, you know, it's, you don't think it's, it's bad out of his hands. I mean, once you score that run, then you, you think he's think swinging it real good right now? I'd still take my chances with him. Yeah. You ain't got chop soup, chop whatever you call liver hitting behind him, Matt. Oh, it's tough. I don't think it was the right decision. You know, I just, uh, the biggest thing there was I want our guys to win one. The replay guys. <laughs> <laughs> really, I thought about it. So that's a pretty easy one there. I'm going for that one. You got, you got this in RBI and the bases yeah. are still loaded with no outs. I don't think it's that close. I'll take the base runner. I, the other thing, I, the last thing that when I was thinking about was them bring, they're going to have to bring the infill in here. I would not want to be playing third and short with Trombo hitting. Better get a hockey suit on. <laughs>